Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and uh, Aquarius Rising. Our weekly tarot reading August 5th to August 11th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of Aquarius week, this is going to be the justice, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here guys, that is going to be the uh, High Priestess. Afterwards what we do have, it is the positive aspect of the week, we do have a person of the Knight of Swords and a final card here which represents the uh, guidance that Tower is offering to you. We have the Seven of Cups, very, very interesting, a bit baffling to be honest. So the week itself, uh, it's, um, it's all about personal reflection and personal accountability, all right? It's, uh, it's not different than those week where you wake up one morning and you find out that you can be in a better place, all right? Or in a better circumstances, realizing that either you are not doing enough for that or you're not doing the very best for that or that someone else or something else it's depriving you from these um from these better circumstances and therefore making what it what it's needed for yourself to to simply you know improve those uh, improve those circumstances but the thing is the high priest is in a challenging position now this card in a challenging position it does point to settling right so what the reading really talks to me here right is that your queries are seeking improvement into fields or into agendas or into um, enterprises you know that you are not ready yet to pursue and instead you have to sort your current endeavors because the um <clears throat> the justice as a general topic it's it refers to that the one needs to sort their responsibilities current responsibilities before uh, one can decide to push into a new direction so once again let's run down the cards before we scrutinize the reading here we do have the justice card which is the general topic followed by the uh, high priestess which stands for the challenges afterwards is going to be the uh, knight of swords which points to the positive aspect of the week and then the final one is to be the seven of cups which represents the guidance all right so uh justice card like we said justice is about Obviously, justice, law and order that takes place, but also justice is about the awareness of oneself, uh, of the accountability toward the situations that one is involved in. Therefore, 
uh, you may find it difficult or even impossible to detach from a certain situations without compensating the other side for it, okay? Or making certain moves without acknowledging that those moves could do harm or could do wrong to other people as well. And while you are scoping all that, also, the card points that one needs to be as well accountable toward oneself. So yeah, take it that way that this this week, it is a, a week where you are to attend to your responsibility in a, such a fashion that at the end of the day, everybody is going to be happy of it. You, your family, your friends, your lover, your boss and all that and all that and all these people. The thing is that you have to go through a lot in order to accomplish this really you have to go through a lot and uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, two of cups so the formation it is a uh, active uh, active neutrals now with the active neutral to the uh, two of cups you don't have to like it that's that's the thing I mean what is necessary to be done it's necessary to be done and it doesn't matter if you like it or not it doesn't matter if you're feeling thrill about it or not it doesn't matter if you're going if if it's going to uh, put you in a dis disadvantageous position for the time being or, or not it's just something that you will have to do. Giving you straight away on an example, let's say that you are assigned into an into a important project, into your career, and suddenly your boss comes with another assignment, or I don't know how you say to the person who is assigned um, another assigned person. I would say. Uh, to the project because the project demands it but that person is someone that you cannot get along very well while you can't get along very well you have to recognize that this person is needed for the project and therefore you have to make your peace with it for the time being that means that you need to be accountable toward yourself meaning you know being successful into the project and to the project itself meaning that the project should be successful as well so um that being said, uh, Aquarius, it looks like that you will have to resign to a lot of things throughout the week. You need to make your peace peace with a lot of situations while you maintain your integrity, while you maintain, you know, your devotion as well. Yeah, while you are maintaining your uh, accountability. Okay, but at the end of the day, you need to know that this is going to be rewarded because the justice serves whatever ones deserve all right just as always serves the means or rather like the benefits that one worked for so should you make your peace with the situation should you try to do the best out of it accounting to everything then you definitely are gonna take what you deserve from it all right so this leads us to the challenge here and that is going to be the high priestess so high priestess in these cases points to settling the high priestess it's about believing that everything has a reason all right allowing like i said before in previous readings the high priest is about the inner voice the inner guidance the intuition if you want to say it that way to the inner knowledge and all these kind of stuff but in this case it's, it will be difficult for you to acknowledge this either guidance in either an inner inner voice telling you that what it is happening it's actually natural it's actually what it's supposed to happen the high priestess sits on a bench and a bench in tarot is a symbol of settling it's a symbol of making the most out of what you have and therefore this is going to be the challenge for you because when the, for example this co-worker that you cannot get along with comes around and gets assigned into your project the first thing that you're going to think of is going into your boss storming in demanding that either you go or they go okay and that is the last thing you want really because from another standpoint what your boss wants is the project to be successful he doesn't care about what what you think about this co-worker he doesn't care what that co-worker thinks of you only thing that your boss wants is the project to be successful and in this particular uh, situation you have to show to your boss that you can set aside differences with this co-worker because according to the justice that co-worker is willing to do that as well all right for the sake of the project itself so do not be impulsive it's the point here the accompanied card is going to be the tower actually a very positive um, combo here excuse me because we do have an, an uh, 
passive enemies that we that are representing the challenges and uh, the challenge itself is by doing is by being passive settled and resigned over what you don't like into the situation you are to avoid severe crisis right you are to undergo a certain transformation without that transformation to have its um unpleasant symptoms okay but instead that transformation is going to go as smooth as possible but should you burst about it should you try to storm that situation wow it's then you you are you are deserving what's coming for you so another example to give you here it's let's say that you start suspecting your girlfriend is cheating on you all right so instead of bursting out straight away and instead of um kind of like uh, uh, blaming her or him or whatever instead of uh, storming that situation. Try to be peaceful about it, you know, try to see what are the evidence of it, what are the circumstances of it and all these kind of stuff. Try to be patient because even if this is the end of your relationship, the, your relationship doesn't have to go in a, a very hurtful way. So the next card that we do have, it is the positive aspect of your week, Aquarius, and this is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords. So what this card here really points as a positive aspect is there is someone who is going to um, make, it's not like make sense, but let's say is going to bring senses to your actions, okay? That is a person who is... Um, well, in its nature, it's rather quite tenacious. But even in this situation, this one understands that whatever has to be done has to be done. And therefore, um, they understand that you resisting, you know, the, 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 the demands of the universe is going to make it only harder on you. However, as a positive aspect, this person is also aware of there is much more easier way for you to do things because the Knight of Swords is always someone with a, an agile intellectual capabilities. So that being said, that person is going to reveal you the most, the easiest and the less painful way of how you can tackle with, for example, the situation that your husband or a wife cheated on you, if that's the case, you know, how you can make peace with that situation into your career, that you have to work with a person that, with a, a person that you despise and all these kind of stuff, most likely through an example of their own life. The accompanied card here is going to be the Seven of Wands formation. It is a active, active uh, supporters. So uh, now we know how that person is going to approach all that. I mean, how he's going to convince you that what you are about to do by outbursting toward the situation, it's um, it's actually the worst thing. So what the, the Knight of Swords here really does is making you aware how much you're going to lose instead of win should you approach the situation in rather impulsive fashion. But instead, you know, should you keep your mouth shut and should you do your part in it? Well, that eventually is going to benefit you way more. My point here is, is that you need to be smart and that person will not exactly teach you, but sober you about being smart, about being clever, and about why, while seemingly looking like that you are contributing for the well-being of everybody around, you are most, above everything, are contributing toward your own personal agenda, being successful into your career, being happy in your life, because a, a tantrum and really difficult breakup, it's gonna make everything else but makes you happy, okay? And all these kind of stuff. So yeah, that Knight of Swords breeds you senses upon what you are about to lose should you straight away try to storm that situation. And the final card here, it is the guidance that we do have, and that is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups here urges you not to presume. Do not fantasize of what the outcome is going to be or how the things are going to unfold from now on. Example, straight away, so that person into your career gets assigned to the project, you despise that person, and you start fantasizing how 
how bad the whole thing is gonna go moving on forward, therefore making yourself biased about the situation, not allowing yourself to accept that actually you can make a pretty good team, all right? Or same thing goes relationship-wise, you suspect your wife or your partner that cheats on you, all right? And you become pretty biased about this and instead seeing the situation for what the situation is, you confront your partner for something that they may have never done, all right? So keep your calm and be objective rather than emotional when it comes to tackling with the unwishful circumstances that this week is going to present to you because there are going to be such. The accompanied card here is going to be the death card. <clears throat> And the combo, it is a, a passive supporters. So uh, but here you need to accept that time changes, circumstances changes, relationship changes, work changes, circumstances in working in relationship changes. And the best thing one can do is align with that change. Okay, that's the best, best thing. Or quietly detach from the change itself. These are your two options and you decide what you want to do with it. But the thing is that this week, uh, Aquarius, you are going to face some, um, let's say, unpleasant conditions that you will have to deal with should you want progress into this direction. And there is no other way around it. However, there is a, a more milder, milder way of facing poignancy. And that will, like I said, going to be uh, divulged to you by a, a person marked by the knight of swords most likely a male right around your age or a little bit younger but it could be as well a female so that being said aquarius this was your weekly tarot reading for a august 5th to august 11 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye